Hi everybody, Amy from the Meneer Group Century 21. I am at home today and I got to thinking, um, what makes a house a home? Funny question. Not a lot of people think about it, but what does, what makes you want to come home at the end of the night after like a day at work or a stressful day at the office? Um, you know, or just you with your family and you're out and about and you're like, you know, say that you're out on the weekend and you're at the county fair and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, let's go home. What makes you want to come home at comfort feeling? So it gets me kind of going back to my childhood when I remember that my parents bought their first home. Um, it was a semi in Cambridge and um, I believe it was pretty, pretty rough um, shape. My parents got a great price on it. They could have bought another house that was down the street, a couple doors down, and uh, but they would have paid more, but things would have been done. So they chose to go the opposite way, where I remember going in on the first time, um, the first day we got the keys and washing down walls and, um, you know, throwing garbage out and stuff. And I was five or six, so I was so excited because we were moving from an apartment and I was like, oh my God, this is a mansion. So um, regardless, I loved that feeling of us having a home and I was only five or six. So as years go on, um, we changed the home in small ways, whether it was flooring or paint um, updates that we had to do. And after every year that you put something into it, whether it's love and money, it becomes more and more of an attachment to your life and it becomes a safe zone. So I also remember that as years went on and I started growing up and I was probably in my preteens, um, my friends would call and they'd be like, hey, Amy, let's go out, let's go do this and this. And there would be times that I'd turn them down and just be like, no, I'm going to stay home and watch TV with my parents tonight. And a lot of my friends didn't understand that. But now looking back and having my own children, I hope that my kids are the same way and that they can understand that family is important and having a, a safe environment for them and having this cozy creation of um, these four walls that are yours and and to, to bond with your kids, I hope that they realize that that's important and that it is okay to say no to friends and it's okay to um, make your own choices and to to make happy memories in a home. So, you know, years down the road, here I am and I have my home and I have three gorgeous girls and they're young, they're nine and there's twins that are six and we have movie night just like I did when I was growing up. And we have crafts and we do baking and cooking and we do a lot of fun things that um, I've learned and that I've kind of adapted from my childhood growing up to where we are now. So the question is, what does make a house a home? Is it all the work that you put into it to make it gorgeous and um, catalog ready, we'll say? Or is it the people that are in the home? Is it the things that you do? So I'd love to hear your responses as to what makes you, your home, house feel like a home um, and share and just be honest. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys listening today. Thank you very much. We'll chat again.